Guys, this is Lord Shale speaking on behalf of our show sponsor, Established Titles. Established Titles is a project based on a Scottish custom where landowners are referred to as lords and ladies. They allow you to buy as little as one square foot of dedicated land so you can officially call yourself a lord or a lady. Established Titles is not just about your ego. You also get to do some good. In addition to your new fancy title, Established Title supports global charities like One Tree Planet and Trees for the Future to help with the afforestation effort. Your title pack gets you at least one square foot of dedicated land in a private estate in Scotland. Your certificate features a unique plot number where you can see the exact location of your land. And right now, Established Titles is holding 200 plots of land right next to mine. So come join me in the Bad Guy Inc. Kingdom. Getting this certificate even allows you to officially change your name to Lord or Lady. Put it on your credit card, put it on your plane tickets, or if you're so inclined, put it on your dating profile. Makes for a great last minute gift. And there's even couples packs that come with adjoining plots of land. Established Titles is having a great limited time sale. Go to establishedtitles.com slash chale to save 10% off today. Remember to use the promo code CHAIL or just click on the link below. Are you a soccer fan? If you're a soccer fan, raise your hand. How about we do it that way? I don't believe you. I don't believe you. I don't believe any of you. Ariel Hawani is who I go to every single day, multiple times a day. I go right to his Twitter account. Ariel goes out, he does all this hard work. He was interviewing Kayla Harrison, just by example, this morning. I will see that tonight, and I will sit down in this chair, and I will talk about his interview that he lined up, that he did all the work for, that he brought to the world. I will do nearly no work. I will take the credit, and I will make money. That is what I do. I don't break stories. I don't, I don't go to guys. I seldomly do an interview. Many people would refer to me as a hack. I've never been called a hack because I whipped somebody's ass, but I know that inside they think of me that way. They wouldn't be wrong. And I go to Ariel's page over the last couple of days to get stories to bring to you. And you know what I find? Soccer. Lots of soccer. There was even trading cards. That Ariel's son, Oliver, God bless him, shout out to Oliver, had paid money for, opened up, and they were of soccer players. I don't believe it. I don't think Oliver watches soccer. I don't think Ariel shelled out to get cards. I think he screenshotted it. And brought it to the world because you're pretending you like soccer. I don't believe you. I don't believe that you can like that sport. And I, and I got to tell you, I don't respect a lot of sports. I don't think a lot of sports are sports. I, I don't think golf is a sport. I think it's an activity. I mean, I'll just share with you. And I did 22 years in sports. I've earned that right. I've earned the right to that opinion. I wouldn't begrudge soccer. Soccer does some pretty cool stuff. I mean, soccer is like, the U.S. Postal Service. Rain, sleet, or snow, they'll play. I respect that. I think it's hard. I don't think that you work unless when you go to work, you have a reasonable expectation to get sweaty and or dirty. If you don't have a reasonable expectation to get sweaty and or dirty, please don't tell me you work hard. That's just me. Don't tell me that. I think that you have a job. I respect people that have a job. I have a job. But there's something very different in working. So I'm being very fair. I really like soccer. I respect that about it. They get sweaty and dirty. They meet Chael's qualifications. I don't think you like it. It's easy. Anybody can play it. I don't mean the sport itself is easy. Like, you've got to get in shape. You're not going to meet a fat soccer player. They're all in really good shape. What I'm talking about is it's easy to be involved. They have neighborhood leagues, by example. You can start where I live at five years old, and most people do. You can play in junior high. You can play in high school. There's clubs throughout college. I could count on one hand how many people that I personally know 
that did those things. I really could. I go with Heather Wright. I'll go with Eric Wilson. I'll go with Eric Benson. I got two fingers left, and I could I I could I could go with Shane, who married Darren's sister. I'll go with my own sister. My own sister play. There you go. There's five. I had to work a little bit hard to come. I mean, one of them was my own sister. I I, I have to work for. Why don't you play soccer? If you love soccer, how much you don't play? They have it everywhere. You look out your way. There's a soccer field. It's always empty, of course, but there's a soccer field. They, the balls are everywhere. Every sports show in the, in the world. If I told you guys you were going to box, you wouldn't even know where to get the gloves. You wouldn't know where to find a mouthpiece. Just by example, like some of these things are hard. Any sports floor, you can get soccer. You get the little shin, put your little shin pads on in case the person kicks you with his cleat. Go get all the equipment. How come you don't do it? It's a long, drawn-out game. And no one wants to see it. I will tell you what, I'll put it on. If I thought I could make a dollar in soccer, I would have put it on. I put on wrestling term. I put on concerts. I put on grapple defense. I put on mixed martial arts. I put on a soccer game. Never put on a soccer game because I'm not sure that I could get anybody to come. I went to sporting events when I was in high school. I like the Westland Lions. I like them to this day. I've never been to a soccer event. I don't know who the coach is. I'm not looking to be a dick about it. I don't know. But I don't think that you do either. I don't think that you're a fan. I don't think Ariel bought soccer cards. I don't think Oliver opened it and got excited. I don't think Ariel came over his shoulder and took a picture. I don't think any of those things happened. I don't think that the World Cup is very interesting. But I don't think that you think it's interesting. There was a soccer event, and it was the World Cup, but it might have been the Olympic Games. It might have been because it just happened. It was women's, and the women's coach had to come apologize, universally apologize to the world, on a world stage, she had to apologize. It was the U.S. team. Whether it was our Olympic team or our World Cup team, that I'll share with you, I don't know. She had to apologize because we beat a team Eight to three. Apparently, you don't run up the score in soccer. That's a bad thing to do. That was disrespectful that you would win a game by five points. And she gave the apology. She didn't want to. It was a very backhanded compliment. I remember what, or backhanded apology. I remember what she said. She said, this is a sport based on point differential. But she was trying to explain why we had points, why we needed points, why we needed to make sure we had padding within points because time is still on the clock. This matters. This is a big deal. This is the World Cup or this is the Olympics and it's every four years. She was like trying to explain these things, but she was on stage giving the apology. Nonetheless, I couldn't understand it. Why would you ever let a child go into anything that has that mentality? You give an apology if you had the ability to have it 11 to 3. That's where you owe the apology. That's where your job is on the line. If you had the ability to have it 11 to 3 and you only had it 8 to 3, now we have something to talk about. Or we don't. Or what are you teaching the kids? Why would you teach them that? Why would you disrespect the other team? Why would you not bring your best skills? Why would you not do everything you could to win? Why would you not be a competitor? Why would you not be vicious about it? Why would you not plan to do that to the first team, the second team, the third team, and any other team that wants to step forward? Why? And why do you, none of you know what I'm talking about? Why have none of you corrected me on who that coach was? Why have none of you told me if that was the World Cup or the Olympics? It was a big deal when it happened, but I know why you're not answering. I know why you're not telling me. It's just like Oliver. Shout out to Oliver. Just like the great Ariel Hawani. Shout out to Ariel. You don't like soccer. Once a year, you pretend. You like soccer, and I don't know why.